friends welcome to sql server tutorial youtube channel today we will learn about sql server grouping sets sql grouping sets allows computing of multiple group by clauses in a single statement the result of grouping sets are the equivalent of union all of the specified groups suppose we have a table product category link here you can see in this table, we have a column like vendor, category, product, and their quantity. So here is a vendor, AK Enterprise, having the category computer. And within the, within the category computer, we have a different, different product, Acer, HP, and Apple, and their quantity. So it may be the sale quantity. So my requirement is that I want to see the my output, let's say vendor-wise total quantity. So I want to see the total sale done by vendor. So what I would write like this. So I want to see the total quantity vendor wise. So I would write my code like this as total quantity from table. Just copy and paste the table name right here. Then group by vendor so it would return the data based on the grouping on vendor column and would aggregate the quantity for individual vendor so here is we have a output based on vendor in similar way if i want to see the data based on the category this time i don't want to see the data based on vendor so i'm just writing for category so here you can see i just replacing the vendor with category and this will return the data based on category so here we have only two unique category as you can see so that's why it returns only two category and their overall quantity so computer and hardware there are two category only that's why now again i want to see the overall quantity regardless the vendor and category so i just simply remove the category and group by clause and this query would return on the overall quantity so it was a simple just grouping clauses we have just display the grouping based on a single columns now i want to see all these data like the output of the, all these three queries in a single select statement so how it would be possible to display the output of these three queries using a single select statement. So one thing that comes in our mind is union all operator which simply merge the or we can say the combine the result set of multiple select statement. So we can convert or modify our query like these. Here we can say we are displaying the data of different different columns like vendor wise grouping category wise grouping here we don't have any column in groupings we are displaying the overall quantity so we have to modify our query like this to display all this data of all these columns in a single select statement so we have to modify our data like this first column is vendor but in our second query we are displaying the category wise grouping so we have to modify like this so for category we are not using here so we have to display blank category so the first column is vendor so you have to make blank vendor right here in second query because we are not displaying vendor in our second query we are grouping based on the category now we have two columns in both because it's the union loop operator requirement is that in our select statements whatever the select statement we are using in our union all operator must have the number of same number of columns so we are just added the blank vendor in second column in second query here we are just displaying the overall sum so we would take the blank vendor and blank category for third statement so in this way we are just managing the columns like 
same number of column in all three selection statement which is the requirement of in and operator we are using it so whatever the select statement we are using in our in and all operator must have the same number of columns so in this way we can display the output of all these select statement using a single select statement now this is our single select statement we are just executing it one time and it returns the result of combining the result set of all three statement here you can see first three output is from the first query last two next two is from the second and third one is from the last one we can say last one is from the third statement but as we can say it is a very complex like modifying the query like just to matching the sequence of column and then applying union all and here you can see writing the query for each groupings again and again and if we have on multiple columns and we are displaying the data based on the multiple column groupings so we have to write query if we are displaying we want to groupings on like 10 columns we have to write 10 queries and then union all and modifying the columns name to matching the sequence adding the number of same columns in each query so it's a very lengthy task so to replace this lengthy task we can use grouping sets so grouping set simply allow us the computing of multiple group by clauses in a single select statement so these are the multiple grouping clauses we can say so whatever the select statement right here these are the multiple grouping clauses so let's say how we can convert this query into a grouping set and make our task easy so i'm just copying the syntax of grouping clause here you can see select so here we will display the columns whatever the column we want to display in our select statement then aggregate columns then table name group by here is a grouping set and based on the grouping here we have multiple grouping clauses so here column one here we pass vendor for column two we will pass category for column one and column two let's say if i want to add one more columns right here like this like this time i want to grouping based on both columns like this vendor wise category wise grouping like this here the vendor wise category wise grouping so here you can see this makes our tasks more complex depends on the whatever the grouping clauses we are using in our query and then matching the sequence of number of columns in each select statement then using in and all operator so by replacing we can replace this lengthy task and make it into a easy one using grouping sets so this is the use of grouping sets so let's convert this query into grouping sets so using that we can select multiple grouping clauses query into a single select statement so first one is vendor wise grouping we want to display vendor wise grouping then we want to display category wise then we want to sum of quantity from table i'm just copying paste the table name group by here's a grouping sets so first i want to display my output based on the grouping on vendor column second one i want to display based on the category column third grouping i want as you can say vendor and category wise and fourth grouping or we can say that it's a blank grouping we can say like just want to display the sum of overall quantity so here i have not passed any column name order by here i can pass a column name and done so you can see it's a very easy and initial of writing the lengthy query like this we have done just in few number of lines by using grouping sets vendor category and we have passed the grouping columns name based on that we want to groups our result set 
in a single statistic and the first one would be done by grouping done by based on vendor second one based on category third one vendor and category wise like this is the replacement of this query vendor and category wise grouping and last one is just the blank grouping we can see that which will display the overall sum so let's execute the query and see and here you can see this solar vendor wise category wise grouping these are the here you can see this and this are the vendor wise grouping and this these are the vendor and category wise grouping these these are the category wise group oh, we can say vendor wise grouping only vendor wise grouping and this a enterprise the overall quantity must stack products overall quantity and these are the vendor wise grouping and these are the category wise grouping and the overall so so here you can see these are the our entire result sets this result set consists the grouping based on the multiple grouping clauses vendor wise grouping category wise grouping vendor category wise grouping and overall the result set so here you can see if i just i'll go to both query so you can compare the result set and also match the whether it returning the exact result set or not so here you can see the overall quantity is 30000 here you can see vendor category is blank and the total quantity 37 now here you can check the vendor wise grouping so vendor wise grouping a enterprise is here you can see 10300 so vendor wise grouping a enterprise here it is 10030 10300 so you can match and it gives the same result so whenever we get the requirement like this like where we have to display the multiple grouping within in a single select statement and in this case we can use group by grouping sets so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video kindly subscribe to the channel for getting the latest video update on sql server tutorial thanks for watching the video